Before this video starts, I just want to say um, everything that's going on right now with the Black Lives Matter movement and the riots and protests and all that stuff, I really, it's really a lot. And some people are trying to get away from it and, you know, like watch videos like this. Um, and I do just want to say I think it's important that everybody knows what's going on. So actually in my bio or in the description of this video, I'm going to put a whole bunch of pensions that you can sign because this is very important and I feel like everybody should take part in it and actually stand up for really what's going on right now. But I just wanted to say that before this video starts. Hello motherfuckers, welcome back to motherfucker channel. Okay, no, on a serious note, this is Lady Gaga's fifth album, um, Chromatica, the, and, it, and the genre is straight up pop. It's great. I Gaga is, I love when she does pop music. That's my favorite kind of Gaga. That's me personally. So I'm really excited to see what this 2020 album is going to bring. Is it the future of pop music? Is it something that we all thought was going to happen and it just isn't? Or what? I don't know. I've heard a lot of, um, not reactions, but I've heard a lot of, but I won't let that feedback affect my views on the album. And it's going to be my opinions. True, genuine, and honest. Period. But if you don't know, I reacted to all of Gaga's albums, actually, so there'll be a link in the description. I've actually ranked her albums, too. So I'm going to have to redo that after this album. Okay, I've heard Stupid Love, um, everything else is new, even Rain On Me with Ariana. I've been, I've been, like, trying to, like, not pay attention to all the, like, to all, because I know Rain On Me dropped before the album, so I've been trying to, like, not, you know, but, like, now I can finally listen to it, watch the video, I'm so excited, you guys, let's go. The first song is called Chromatica 1, or Chromatica I, I, I have a blunt. <laughs> Let's smoke you guys. I hope you guys are smoking with me. Let me know what you're smoking on by the way And if you have any thoughts about this album throughout this review, let me know Okay Hello. I, I really stand. I really stand. Okay. I really stand that. <laughs> that was a really good intro. I'm really big on intros and outros of albums and even songs. So that was really good. I'm really excited. I, I like, what the fuck? That was all instruments, no vocals. It was really well done, really intrigued you. And I hope we're going to receives that same energy throughout this album okay let's keep going the next song is called alice i am about to like this one let's go okay okay wait wait this is fun i like this this is like e-girl techno Okay, wait. I don't know about this. I love, I love, wait. Yes, Gaga! I, I like this. I'm sorry. I love this. I, I really stand. I think that was a good song to hear as the initial song to this album. I feel like, <laughs> all the, I don't know. I, I mean, I could be tripping, but I really like that. That was giving me, and you know what? I don't even like art pop, and everybody knows that. Like, if you watch my videos, you know I don't like art pop. I, but that was giving me <laughs> Born This Way and art pop, like, and the fame. All mixed together, like, what? Maybe I'm tripping. I could be tripping. Let it. I'm gonna let it sit in for a little bit. 
nothing changed. Gaga snapped on that song. Period. I love the adventureness to the writing and everything. I love that. So, so far it's good. So far it's really good. The next song is called Stupid Love. This is where I have a problem. The song Stupid Love, it was good. Like, I reacted to it and I really liked it when it first came out. I really did. But it just grew really fast. I feel like Alice would have been a great, like, or Rain On Me. I don't know. I haven't heard that yet. That's the next song. Oh my god. <laughs> but I just really love the adventureness of Alice and, like, where it was like, it was a bop. It was a vibe. Let's keep going. The next song is called Rain On Me. I'm actually going to react to the, like, the video right now. So let's do it. Coffee will never be the same. Okay. Open a fresher day. Bye. Now this is giving me Joanne. The song. But, but I'm living. Wow. Ooh, was it nice? Okay, this is really visually stunning. Okay, so we got choreography. Okay, wait. I see it. Yes! The back and forth. The like white outlines, it's like ooh. Come on here! I just dropped my phone. Oh, I see. This is Gaga! What the fuck? Yes. Yes! This is a bomb! Come on, choreography! I'm just like, yes! I stand, I stand, I stand, I stand, I stand, I stand, I stand. Those two together, okay, that was a bop. I, I, okay, you know, I said Rain On Me should have been the lead single, but then I, I'm thinking back because, no, I feel like lead single should be solo. I like that idea. This was definitely the go with the second single. I, I like this song. This song is an act, like, genuinely a bop. And all the people <laughs> that had, like, bad reviews on it, I'm just, like, really confused. I see the direction, and I see the vision of this album, at least so far. I've seen a lot of people say it was, like, elevator music, and just, like, music that just sounds like, okay, like, we get it. I don't think, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of shook. <laughs> I was I was very interested in seeing where this Gaga and Ariana song, I was about to say Rihanna. <laughs> really interested in seeing where the direction and the vision of that song would go. Like, I didn't know how those two would sound on a song together, but I like it. And I like how versatile that Ariana could be. This was a, this was a fucking bob. I don't know. I really love this video. And then Ariana with the hair down. You could not. This was a pop anthem. And I'm really glad it went number one. Congratulations to them. The next song is called Free Women. Period. Wait. Okay, okay, wait. I will say right now, um, I think that was my least favorite song, and I don't want to say that because it's called Free Woman, and that, that is, it, it was a very powerful song. I love that. I, that was just my least fave so far. That's all I'm going to say. I liked it. I liked it, though. Maybe it's a grower. Maybe it's a grower. I like how I was talking so much shit, but I was, like, literally bopping to that song, like, the whole time. Um, and I think that's what it was. I think it was a grower for me. I think just at the moment in time, I was just, I don't know. Maybe I was overwhelmed. It was my first listen, but it's a grower and I, I stand now. Hello. But the next song is called Fun Tonight. Okay. So Whoa. Just to entertain. Oh, oh the under vocal. Fun. 
Okay. I was so disappointed right here, um, specifically, because I wanted, like, a big bass drop, and there just wasn't one, so, that kind of pissed me off. I love the breakdown. See, like, I'm conflicted. Like, the, the melodies are good. Okay, wait, 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 okay, wait, maybe I lied. Ah. Wig, you know, like I just said, I'm very conflicted. Like, I'm drawn between two. Like, I cannot really explain it either. Like, I love her vocals, and I love the fact that she's bringing it. Like, she's she's giving me that old guy. If I'm being honest, like, this, this really sounds like something out of... Old Gaga. Like, I cannot explain it, but and I like it, but then there's just something. I think it's what it, well, I think what it is, it's the beat. But, I feel like it is getting better. That Free Woman song it was just not it. But this Fun Tonight song, it brought me back a little bit. But the next song is called Chromatica 2. <sighs> I know it's going to keep getting better, and there's probably going to be songs that I really don't like, and there's probably going to be songs that I really, really like. But so far, I will say this album is, it's interesting. Let's keep going though. Okay, halfway, wait, it's not the halfway mark, but it might be the halfway mark. It's about the halfway mark. Take us in there. Ooh, I want more of this. Okay. Okay, I want more of that. I really want more of that. I want more of that, like, mysterious, like, feel. Like, that's what I, that's what I need. And she's given it to me, but, like, in little portions, like, throughout songs and stuff. I don't know. That's what's intriguing me. I want to keep going. I want to keep getting in there. That was a perfect segue into this. Let's keep going. The next song is on 911. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. She's bringing me back with this one. And that, and that outro was sick. Oh my fuck, bitch. Yes! Okay. She definitely brought me back with that one. She definitely brought me back with that one. I, lately, I've been really into um, the Paparazzi, her song Paparazzi from 2000, I think it was 2009. And I I remember listen, like hearing that song on the radio back then and just being like, who in the fuck? Like, like, I didn't know what was going on. I really wasn't musically conscious at the time. But I just remember hearing that song and just being like, whoa. That's what this song was giving me right here. It was really bringing me to that. That really sounded like dance club, but good. Good, in a good way, dance club. Like, just a bop. Like, I can see people literally, like, doing, like, listening to that song in Braves. That was, that was a good-ass song. That was one of the best ones on this album, at least to me. Let's keep going. The next song is called Plastic Doll. Put the light just blown up again, you guys. I'm shook. This album is, it's taking me there. That's what I'm going to say. Let's keep going. I am, what's the price Ooh, at the I like that.
That 80s like kick, I stand. Yes! I like that. Bitch, I like that. I like it. Okay, uh, see, she's bringing me back. I knew there was gonna, I knew it was gonna get better, and then I knew there was probably gonna be songs that I didn't like, but I am in love! It's like the songs that I do like, I really like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like them. And then the songs that I don't like, it's just like, I know I'll probably never listen to them again. So it's, it's a, com I'm conflicted. That song is called Plastic Doll, and I really like the fact that she is taking these songs and really giving you what it like sounds like, like Plastic Doll. If like, if I ever heard a song from a pop star named Plastic Doll and it didn't sound like that, I, I don't think I could listen to it. That was a pop. That'll probably be one of my faves. So let's keep going. The next song's called Sour Candy. This is featuring Blackpink. Okay, we, I like, um, what's it called? K-pop, I like K-pop. Um, but I know sometimes it can be like a little too much. I just know it's a love and hate relationship with K-pop. And I'm like right in the middle. I'm like, I stand it, but I don't know. So let's see. I hope this is I hope this is good. Let's go. Okay, um, oh, oh my god, the next song, I'm gonna be shook. Okay, Sour Candy. I have to stand. I like it. I do like it. Um, but there's a few things that I have to say. A, we have to talk about the elephant in the room, Swish Swish, and Truffle Butter. Those songs are, I think those songs actually sample another song, but those are the only songs that I know that have this, this like, do, do, do. Be, and I like that, and I like when different, I like how different it was used here, and I really like that. Now, for the Gaga and Blackpink, I, I think I reacted to one thing by Blackpink before, and I like them, they're, they're, they make bops, um, but Gaga, and I did not, I don't know, I didn't know how, like, to expect it, because I thought Gaga was on, like, a whole different way. I didn't know what this album was going to sound like, that's what I'm trying to say. I think this was a good opportunity for that to happen, for Gaga to go into K-pop. But I stand. The next song is called Enigma. Um, I'm really, really excited about this one. Like a year, I don't know when it was, probably it was like a year and like two years ago, she put that Enigma, it was like the um, intro for her tour or something like that. And I was like, wait a minute, I, I thought we were going to get an album way back then, honestly. And I just have to say real quick, The Cure, the, the just, Justice for The Cure, Justice for The Cure. I thought we were going to get an album then. Like, no, like, I'm not kidding, but I really like that song, and I really wish it would have been, like, a part of this. Open-minded, hey. I'm so blinded, mystery man. Oh my god. Ciao. 
This is my first time ever listening to a Gaga album when it dropped. Like, I mean, I am a couple days late. Actually, I'm almost like a week, a week late. But it's okay. I'm so shook. <laughs> I see what people were talking about when they said that maybe this album was like a little too much. I see it, but then I'm also like, wait, because I see the other side. I'm like, I like this. I, like, I really like the sound. And Enigma, I was really looking forward to that song. I didn't know that like it was going to be a song in this album until I literally just seen it. And I had so much hope, so much fucking hope for it. They really came through. Gaga, bitch. I want to see a video. That was probably my best song. I want to see a video for that song. <sighs> Let's keep going, though, you guys. The next song called Replay. Bitch. I... Yeah, she's coming through. Okay, I'm getting, like, witchy. Like, witchy. I'm so sorry that I gave this album, like, I was giving this album a hard time. I really was. But she brought it back, and she's giving, bitch! Oh, my God. Gaga. Oh, my God. I love how she can keep it, like, she, it's serious matters and serious topics, kind of. And, but I love how she can keep it, like, a bop. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds good, but it's also like, okay, wait, she's talking about something. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I fucking love. I believe Gaga writes most of her music. I think all of it, maybe. Um, but even if she doesn't, she has a really good ear for music. And I, 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 just, I don't know. I just really stand. I, I like the sound of this album. I can see why people don't like. It's kind of a, like, you kind of need an ear for this kind of music. And I understand that. But I see the vision. And I fuck, I, I, I stand. Let's keep going. The next song's called Chromatica 3. Okay, I like that. Ooh, not the rain. It was going into the next song. That, I like that. I, I like that. Let's keep going. I'll talk about that at the end. Um, the Chromatica shit. This song is called Sign Up From Above. Lady Gaga and Elton John. The visualization. It's beautiful. Oh, wait. I'm huge, well, me, okay, but, but no, I'm huge on intros and outros, like I said, at the be literally at the beginning of this album, that outro really, really set me off the rails, I was, I'm, I'm kind of irritated about it, but that was the perfect pop collaboration, um, and Elton John, 
Like, I feel like if you're going to have an Elton John collaboration, the song has to be immaculate. Like, it has to be. And this right here was per Like, I think this was a, the perfect collaboration. I think it was a perfect duet. Their voices sounded really good together. It sounded really powerful. And I really liked the lyrics behind it. I just really think that that song sounded like... It really... Especially with Elton John, it really sounded like timeless like it took me back but at the same time it felt 2020 like it's it's really it's really weird I, I really like it though let's keep going the next song is called a thousand doves okay Okay, 1,000 Doves. You know what this this song was giving me in particular? This song was giving me hair from the Born This Way album. That is one of my favorite Lady Gaga songs of all time. Um, and it was really giving me that. It's kind of, it's very, inspir it was very inspirational. Very inspirational, and I feel like this next song, Babylon, which is the last song, I feel like it's really going to close the album out really good. And I feel like this 1,000 Doves song really... Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know yet, but I don't know this 1000 dove song was it was kind of sad But it was like it was it was powerful. It was like push through like we can all do this. Let's get through this But let's keep going Babylon <laughs> Gaga. Okay. Okay. Now I can. Now I can go off. Whew, I'm shaking. That was a good album ender. I'll be honest. It was a good album ender. I really liked that. But I wanted to. I just want to talk about this whole fucking. Album. I really do. Babylon. I have to say, it was giving me Vogue by Madonna. Um, and I know it's a like a touchy subject, but I know they're not beefing no more. Period. Um. But that's what it was giving me, and it's clear Gaga is very inspired by Madonna, but, and I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Um, I, I, I actually really stand, but that's what that was, well, that's what that song was giving me, but I stand, I stand, I stand. Okay, now I want to talk about this album real quick. Okay, I love Chromatica. I, at first, I was, um, before the album even dropped, I was like very, very like, Mmm, I don't know, Chromatica, oh, like, I mean, like, what, I don't even, I still don't even um, really understand what Chromatica is or what it even means. Okay, it says, a concept album about an Oz-like virtual world of colors, and you know what, that really, like, sums that album up, <laughs> okay, and it makes sense, it really makes sense, and, um, I feel like I judged it too early before I even listened to it, the just the word chromatica, it was like, I don't know, it was just really iffy. I really, really am in love with the adventurous of this album. I really feel like this album went to another dimension, kind of. I, I don't know. I feel like it's out of the box. That's what it is. It's very out of the box. And a lot of people probably won't like it, but I really like it. I feel like Gaga's The, Mon the Little Monsters, um, I feel like you guys love this and... I, I do, because I love Pop Gaga. That's my favorite kind of Lady Gaga. Like, especially her early, her early, early music is my favorite music from her. And this kind of brought me back for some reason. Brought me back and it gave me new at the same time. Like, gave me 2020, an updated version of it. 
But now let me talk about my top five. I want to know your guys' top five too. If you guys have like any thoughts, let me know. Okay, this is in no particular order. Enigma, 911, Alice, uh, Replay, and Sign From Above. Those are my top five. Those are songs that stood out to me. Let me know yours, period. Okay, overall, I would say this album, I would say, I don't, I was going to say 7.5, but I think I'm going to give it an 8. Honestly, an 8. Um, there was really like two or three songs that I really didn't vibe with. But this album overall is, it has replay value. And I would listen to most, those songs that I just named, those are going to be my favorite songs like for the next like couple months. No cap. <laughs> I just really feel like this album should have came after Art Pop and before Joanne. Like, I don't know, I just feel like she should have, this album, I don't know. I, I, but I really like it though, but I just feel like it's just not in its place. Place. I don't know. I can't explain it. There are its downs to this album, but the ups are really up, and I really like that. Um, but let me talk about this album cover real quick. I'm really fucking shit. The aesthetic to this era itself is sickening. I love that Rain On Me video. The stupid love video, I think I said this in that reaction, I said it had a vision, and I see the vision, but I just wish it would have been more. I don't know, I can't really explain that, but I love the aesthetic of the era. But, I want to make this clear, right now. Chromatica is Lady Gaga's best album cover. <laughs> like, let's, let's keep it buck. The Fame, it's a cute cover, it's really, that's really actually a timeless cover. The Fame Monster, that's a Bob cover, I like that cover. Um, Born This Way, mm, it's cute. Art Pop, it's a, it, that's a legendary album cover, I will say that. I don't like that album, but it's a good album cover. Joanne, okay, that's, that's her weakest, I will be honest. Chromatica is her best. Look at the detail. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I, like, honestly, I really can't be, I really don't know what it is going on here, but I love it. The pink in the background with her pink hair is, like, it's sickening. And this is, like, otherworldly, and it's really, like, I think it fits the album a little bit. I really do think it fits the album a little bit, but I, I, I don't know. I just think that she was, this, this album cover is next level. It's, like, her best album cover for sure. I really, I really fuck with this. Like, I could honestly get this, like, blown up and, like, hang it up somewhere. That's how nice this album cover is. But I guess that's it, you guys. This album, I was looking forward to it, and it met my expectations. And I, I think people, I think it's a grower. That's what I think it is. I think this album is a grower. And I feel like by the, by the time summer comes, I feel like more people will be more welcome to it. But the people that get it, get it. And they understand. <laughs> because I get it. But I guess that's it. Make sure you guys hit that motherfucking big ass motherfucking subscribe button. And that like button. Don't play. <laughs> no, but I guess it's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm motherfucking subscribe.